I'm Anil Kumar and here is a video on indeterminate difference. We are going to apply L'Hopital's rule to find the limits. The question is find limit as x approaches infinity for x minus ln x. Now if I substitute x equals to infinity in x minus ln x, what do I get? I get infinity minus ln infinity. So as x approaches infinity, ln infinity also approaches infinity. So we have infinity minus infinity. Now that is what we call indeterminate difference. So this is indeterminate difference. We really cannot find it since we don't know which infinity is bigger, right? So if this one is bigger, we get positive infinity. If that one is bigger, we may get negative infinity as the solution. If they are more or less similar, we'll get something in between. So that is the part which we are not very sure of. And therefore, we can apply L'Hopital's rule to find the derivative. And now, whenever you want to apply the rule, it's good to write this as a quotient. So we'll write... Uh, the question given to us is limit x approaches infinity for x minus ln x. So we are going to write this as limit x approaches infinity. We'll take x common, right? And then we can write this as 1 minus ln x over x. Now, does that remind you of something? What is the limit? of ln x over x as x approaches infinity. Let's check that out, right? So, so what we're doing here is we're doing part of our equation on the right side. So what we will do here is we'll find the limit as x approaches infinity for this portion, which is ln x over x. Now here, if I substitute x as infinity, then ln x is infinity and x is also infinity. So this is definitely a case of infinity over infinity. So we can apply the L'Hopital's rule. That is the derivatives. Quotient of derivatives has the same limit. So we can write this as limit x approaches infinity. Derivative of ln x is 1 over x and the derivative of x is 1. Now in this, if I substitute infinity, 1 over x approaches 1 over infinity, which is 0. So what you observe here is that this part, ln x over x, approaches 0, right? So, so we could write this as limit x approaches infinity for x, right? So because we have 1 minus 0, okay? Because that approaches 0 when x approaches infinity. So basically, we have limit as x approaches infinity for x, and that is infinitely large. So the answer for this is that it is infinite. So that is how you can actually solve this question. You can also see, uh, with the help of a graph, uh, in this particular case, if I sketch ln x, then ln x is a function which is kind of like this, right? So, and the other function, which is x, will be kind of like this. So, so what we see here is that we have these two functions. This is, uh, this is, uh, let's say y equals to x, and this one is y equals to ln x. As x approaches infinity, value of x is much, much higher than ln x, and therefore, x dominates, right? So from this reason also, we could give that answer. So it's kind of important to visualize and answer such questions. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you, and all the best.